Do not touch. Okay, I won't touch it, but I will pull on it. Does that count? This is an iron lung. These things were used to help polio patients breathe. Polio is a virus that in the early 1950s paralyzed roughly 16,000 Americans every year. 1952 was the worst outbreak. Not all of them had to use an iron lung, but if paralyzed to the point of not breathing, they would lay inside one of these space coffins with just their little heads poking out the end, their bodies were sealed tight inside the chamber. A pump underneath typically ran on a motor. One on the back could also be run by hand during a power outage. The negative and then positive pressure would push and pull air in and out of the lungs. Patients normally only had to use the iron lung just for a few weeks or a few months until their body healed from the paralysis, but some people, like Paul Alexander, they had to use the iron lung their entire lives. He was in his for over 70 years. He didn't have to use it all day long, but most of his life was spent in one of these little space coffins. He actually died this year, just a few months ago. I filmed this several years ago when I got to see an iron lung in person at the NIH Museum. 